What's up, everybody? It's Sarah, the Urban Cowgirl. Buck, buck. What am I doing with my hands? I don't know. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Sarah, the Urban Cowgirl. It's hunting season in Texas, and you know what that means? It means quail. But you know what? I found out that a lot of people don't know how to use it. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a jack cheese and jalapeno stuffed quail. We're going to wrap it with bacon, we're going to grill it, and we're going to serve it with a very tasty glaze. You guys do not want to miss this. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Okay guys, so here's the overall prep that you're gonna need for this recipe. I've got my little quails here. These are semi-boneless, and just about now they should be anywhere. You can get them skin on, skin off, whatever you prefer. You can also get chicken thighs. If you can't find quail, you really wanna try out this recipe. Boneless chicken thighs will do the same thing. Now I've got a jalapeno over here, some Monterey Jack cheese, and some thick cut bacon. This is kind of the more expensive bacon. I use a brand called Wright's Bacon, and you really need that to hold everything inside. So make sure that you get a good quality bacon. The first thing that we're gonna do is cut some little squares off the jack cheese. I'm using pepper jack. This is a little bit too thick. You can try halving that really just have to kind of tell with your own quail. It's gonna have to fit inside, but you still wanna have, you know, enough that it oozes out whenever it's all done cooking and you cut into it. And now I'm gonna take my jalapeno. You only need one. I've even done a whole pack of chicken thighs and it just took one. And I'm just gonna cut it in half and then cut some slivers. I want to leave the seeds in. You don't have to, you know, the hot part is in the seeds and the white membrane because I, I don't mind that little pop of spice. So just make us some slivers. So I'm going to take one quail and I'm going to lay them out. It doesn't really matter which side that you do, but see these little bone-in pieces, I kind of want to be able to tuck them in. So I'm going to take one piece of my jack cheese and I'm going to take one piece of my jalapeno, trimming it if I, if I need to. And then I'm going to grab some of these toothpicks. First, I'm going to pin these in just to get it going. Then we'll work with the bacon afterwards. I've done one leg down, and now I'm gonna wrap the other side over it just to help it be secure. We had a piece of bacon. This is gonna be sort of what holds all that cheese in. So you want to wrap it really liberally. Sometimes I do. One going this way and then one going the other way. It doesn't really matter as long as everything is super secure. Oops, I'm going to cut off. This is a big fatty part. That's not going to help us at all. So I'm just going to remove that. Starting here. And I'm going to come around and I'm going to do the other way too. On chicken thighs, you can just usually do it one way, but sometimes with quail, they're so these are a little bit bigger. You'll want to have it going both directions. So I'm just wrapping it over, and I'll secure this. Remember, try to get the cheese. If you hit the cheese, it'll have something to hold on to. Okay. You kind of just got to put on a good country song and do these. They take a little while, so you might want to just zone out and relax. Okay. 
Okay guys, so we're gonna make a glaze to go with the quail and I'm gonna use red pepper jelly. I actually tried a couple different jellies. You can do blackberry jam, red pepper jelly, um, some peach preserves, all those are great, but you know how I am about red pepper jelly. So we're gonna be doing about a half a cup for those four quails. I think that should be enough. Four quails serve about two people because you want about two quails per person. There's not a whole lot of meat on them. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of white wine vinegar. This isn't, you know, a specific recipe. I probably added about three tablespoons and you can use any sort of jam for this. Now we're gonna do something. This is a little secret for you. If you wanna take something that's sweet and make it savory, make it appropriate for like uh, to serve with a chicken dish or fish dish, garlic and soy sauce are kind of two flavors that shift things from being sweet to being more neutral. So I'm gonna take a clove of garlic here. Just pick all my little garlic pieces off. Garlic and soy sauce are kind of the two culinary neutralizers. Anytime you wanna make a sauce with jam or preserves, you really need those. And then we'll just introduce it to our glaze. Okay, now the other part of that is the soy sauce. We're, we're not gonna add enough soy sauce, just about a tablespoon. We don't want it to taste like soy sauce. It's just taking the sweet flavors and it's making them mm, more of a savory thing. Now, I'm not even gonna cook this. I'm just gonna mix it together and I'm gonna pop it in the microwave. It's really that easy. Okay, and this is what we're looking for. Just warmed it up all together and that'll go on the quail. So guys, this is how you want the charcoal to look. That's the weenie dog, don't mind her. I'll show her to you in a minute. So this is the way you want the charcoal to look. You want it to be totally gray over and just have those little um, grow glowing embers. I'm just gonna put these down. Since we waited for our charcoal long enough, it's not going to have a lot of flare ups. It's just gonna roast these off, okay? So now I've got our glaze and I'm just gonna sort of paint them on a little bit. You're gonna have to do this two or three times to get a, a good glaze. Yeah, that is gorgeous. These look great, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them off the grill. I'm guessing that was about five or six minutes per side, with the last side being the side that gets all the glaze. Okay, here we go, guys. This is what it looks like when it comes off the grill. So before we serve it, we're just gonna take all these little toothpicks out, and the bacon's really crispy, so it's really easy to do. Just wanna be really careful when you're eating it, just in case you miss a toothpick. Okay, so I've gone ahead and removed the toothpicks out. You still wanna be, you know, a little careful, and you'll just grab one. Ooh, that's so yummy. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut into it and show you how it works. Oh my God, I love quail season. Mmm. Cheese and bacon and red pepper jelly. It's really so much easier to do than people think. I don't know why people think quail. It's like restaurant food or you have to know a hunter to know how to cook it. It's fabulous. It's really easy to do on the grill. And you know, I always like to do something that sort of celebrates the season. That's my jam. Shelly, you wanna do the outro? Tell them, tell them how much you wanna barbecue. 
You know guys, fall is the perfect time of the year to actually be grilling outside in the south because it's not so hot that you just wanna melt when you get out there. It's quail season, so try this recipe. It's a lot easier than you think. It's gonna be on urbancowgirllife.com. That's where you can print out all the recipes from our YouTube channel. If you like what you see, subscribe. You can hit that little bell and it'll get, give you some notifications the next time I post a video. We'll be seeing you next time. Bye.